On behalf of the American Legion's Department of Kansas, it is an honor to share in this long-awaited, long-deserved recognition. Harry Dubry Comrie, architect of the GI Bill, was the 19th National Commander of the American Legion. He held virtually every office at every level in the nation's largest veterans organization. From Commander of Topeka Post 1 to the Department Commander of Kansas, to the highest national offices until he passed away, ironically, in 1979, attending what he loved most, an American Legion convention. On those December nights in 1943, when he hand wrote what would later become the Servicemen's Readjustment Act of 1944, commonly called the GI Bill of Rights, I'm sure he could not have foreseen its long-term effects. No one could have. He simply went to work, quietly distilling more than 600 bills into 10 key provisions that would give American veterans a fighting chance to succeed when they came home from war. The GI Bill made higher education and home ownership feasible for average Americans. It financed thousands of farms and businesses that turned our nation into the world's breadbasket and an economic superpower. No politician could have done this. No congressional committee or federal agency could have done this. No one could have crafted the greatest legislation other than a truly unique individual, thoroughly committed to the community, state, and nation. I'm not sure I would be a soldier if it wasn't for Harry W. Colmery. You see, the GI Bill, I am a direct, direct uh, beneficiary of Harry's vision. Uh, it touched not only my father, who is a Vietnam veteran and a Desert Storm veteran, uh, but also me, and now my kids. You see, I am a soldier for life, and this doggone program has made it possible to educate the next generation. So, on behalf of all the current serving veterans, thank you. And I'm gonna take a quick poll. I bet there's nobody in the crowd here whose life has not been touched by the GI Bill. Raise your hand if it's been touched by the GI Bill. And so that great man saluting us over there in, in uh, uh, forever has led us all to be the greatest nation on earth.